Hello, I'm back. Did you wait a long time? I thought you could need some sleep. So I just was gone for a while. To give you some time to rest. <laughs> no. Does it really look like my toy missed me? I can't believe it. What an honor to me to be missed by someone that special like you. Okay, I told you. Anyway, I still make the rules here. So you have time to rest now. If you use it to do it or not is on you, but this time is over, so you have to help me for now. <laughs> you wonder how? <laughs> you know what I'm doing, right? The work I'm doing, we talked about that. I have some new corpses laying around in another room in this basement. Will you behave if I take you there? You will leave this room then. I will untie you for that. You will just follow me. Don't you dare to even think about escaping me. You have no chance. Would be a shame if I have to kill you after such a short time. I really hope we will have some more days together, maybe weeks, months, years, I don't know, would be so interesting. It's on you if it's possible or not. If you behave well, we can realize that we can spend our lives together. But if you don't behave the way I want you to, I will kill you. I'm just reminding you. Alright. <laughs> I thought so. So, I will untie you now. Yeah, it's better like that, right? I know. I do it very harsh. I hope your wrists don't hurt too much. <laughs> now, follow me. So, here we are. <laughs> what did you expect? Of course. There are many corpses lying around. Some of them are already cut into some pieces. That's your job from now on. You'll help me to get rid of them. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I said. You'll help me to cut them into many pieces to get rid of them. It's important that I don't leave any clues to the police to find out about what I did and that it was me who killed them. It's the best if they never know they are dead. That's the best way the situations can turn out. Because then they are just missing persons. And the police will be looking for them a long time. And never find them. But nobody would know that they are not alive anymore. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. That's your job now. You look a little... Unhealthy. The color of your face. The color of your face just changed to white in a way. <laughs> Are you alright, my love? <laughs> oh, silly. What did you expect? What did you think I want you to do here, huh? 
did you think you will just lay around in a room? Just chilling for yourself and sometimes I'm visiting you? Oh no. It's not gonna be that easy on you. I'm not going that easy on you. I'm about to test you. I introduced my plants to you already. So how can you just be so naive to expect any less from me, huh? Seems like you still didn't understand what I'm able to do and who I am. <laughs> Maybe you understand much better now, do you? <laughs> you look at me with his eyes. I love that. I love this kind of this kind of glance in your eyes. You're scared. Oh, you can do better. I know that. <laughs> but I have to say I love people who are scared of me. I love it to see it in their eyes. The way the faces change when they are so in deep fear of me. <sighs> this is the moment you realized how psycho I am. No? <laughs> well, then, when did you realize it? Tell me. I'm interested in your thoughts. You know that. <laughs> I see. Yeah, well, in another week, one. But prove me that I'm not wrong. Prove it to me that you're not weak. Do what I told you. Cut them into pieces. All the ones lying here around. I know the smell is terrible. <laughs> you get used to it. Like I got used to it a long time ago. Mm. Do you want to know how it all started? You know what? This is a very intimate story. But maybe I'm going to tell you someday. If you stay well behaved. If you stay the way you are at the moment, if you keep looking at me like that <laughs> and still do what I tell you to do, maybe someday I will tell you how it all began, how I started my work. <laughs> you seem very curious. <laughs> I don't know if I like that honesty. You have to know, I'm the kind of girl who has lots of secrets and I don't want anyone to find out about them if I don't want him to find out about them. You get it? If you try to sniff around here, you're dead too. You will be a dead man. Don't even try. Would be a shame. I think that's all for now. Do you have any more questions? <laughs> okay, honey. Um, I know you must be thirsty and hungry. I'm not a monster. I know humans have needs, after all. <laughs> I decided to give you some just now. I need you. I need your strength. If you become weaker, at least your body, you can't do what I tell you to do. You will get some tasks that are maybe a little difficult, especially 
if you don't have a lot of power. So, I will just give you something to satisfy your needs. Oh no, what did you think? What I mean, huh? I talked about water and maybe... Maybe... I don't know, what do you like to eat, huh? <laughs> You're funny, you really thought you could wish for something. <laughs> no. I will bring you some bread and maybe butter and cheese. Yeah, I have some left. You can have that one. I don't like it anyway. Oh honey, you really thought you could wish for something from me. You still didn't understand, right? You will obey me. I make the rules. You have nothing to say. Only I do. You get it? <laughs> oh, I love that fear in your face. Alright. I'm gonna leave you alone for now and I hope you will have finished some of the corpses already when I come back with the food and the water if not you will only get the water <laughs> yeah I love playing with you don't look at me like that if that surprises you you still didn't understand anything of the situation you're in you have no control about what's happening. <laughs> well, I guess nothing more to say, right? <laughs> Just do your work and you will be fine. Probably. <laughs> See ya, honey. See ya in a bit.